94 WIP Uh-oh. breaking news. What do we got? Philadelphia Eagles have released safety Kevin Byers. Oh, All right. who knew that was? We knew that yeah, was Yeah, but you know what? But I'm I'm not upset. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Probably just saved a bunch of money doing <laughs> Yeah, they did. Yeah, for 12 or 14 on the cap? Yeah, I think yeah. right about there. I think Elliot laid it out not too long ago, but yeah, I, you know, sorry to startle everybody. Well, a move that we probably anticipated, but I didn't. I guess expect it to come in today. No, and it was—it's a breaking news. It just happened. Yeah, All right, so Kevin Byard released that film. They breaking down that film, getting rid of some. Probably gonna be a lot more people. Getting you think they asked him to do the scouting report on himself before they—they uh, they said we're you're out? Probably. <laughs> what were you doing on this play? I don't know. All right, then hit the door. You know what this one was—the the, the Byard thing here, Hugh. You never hear that. Yeah, I mean, we all know the phrase "too good to be true." Remember yeah. they made that trade for him and they didn't give up much. And we were excited, right? Because Bayard was a good player years ago with and, the Titans. And they were getting ready to play the Chiefs. And we were yeah. talking about like the, the matchup with him and Kelsey. And Kelsey and Kelsey even talked about it on this podcast. Yeah, I always this it's probably a good exercise, like in the future, if you if the Eagles or Phillies or Sixers or Flyers get a, a perceived really good player for almost nothing, you have to like, why? Mm-hmm. Like why'd the Titans give him to the Eagles for very little buyer beware type situation. And it was obvious that he wasn't the player he used to be when he was with Tennessee. So considering the money they could save here on the cap, a, a no brainer, good move by the Eagles. And, um, and look, now they could use that money when free agency opens here, uh, moving up in, in, in a couple weeks, two, one, five, five, nine, two, 94, 90 for Kevin Bayard released by the Eagles. It's not a surprise. And it's, um, it's one, I think that they had to do. I mean, the cap savings. I think it was it was either twelve or fourteen million. Well, yeah, and give him a chance to find it. You know, catch on with somebody else. Sure. You know, I mean, you get 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 cut early. This is probably a blessing in disguise for him. Give him a chance to catch on with another team. Yeah, because if you're, I, I believe the rule is, Hugh, if you're released now, you don't have to wait till free agency. Nah, you, you can, can just, just go. Not, yeah. Yeah, and good. You know, good for him. I, I, it was a fit that wasn't going to work. It reminded me a little bit of the. Um, Golden Tate trade they made in 2018 Mm -hmm. where they tried to add a player who was probably not what he used to be and we thought they were getting a steal and didn't really do much here and then you know he moved on to uh, to a different place after that Tom is in Abington hey Tom hey fellas how we doing this hey Hey, Tom how you doing man all right that might be the least surprising breaking news I've ever heard on the web I I agree it's like wait oh yeah that 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 was expected yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, Crybaby Slay is at it again, huh? This is what he does. He says things, and then he gets frustrated when people react to what he says. You know what he said that really irked me? Like, like he took it to a whole new level. He said, even when I have a good play, they boo me. And that's not true. That? It's yeah, I, I did, and it's not tr- that. That's that's to me what's frustrating. Like that's a complete exaggeration. He gets cheered when he makes good plays. Of course he does. Now. I would argue, uh, and I think you have the same stance, Joe, uh, that our fan base has gotten softer, not soft, but softer in the past 30 years. The problem is the modern athlete has gotten even more soft than this fan base. Yeah, it's like the soft ratio. It's not It's not equaling out maybe the way it needs to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. It's a ratio? It's a soft I ratio. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, gotcha. and, and there's two guys in particular that I would love to hear their opinion on this subject. The first being Alec Bohm, because we all remember I bleep and hate this place. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, I would love to hear from Trey Turner. I mean – Thanks to John Fritz. I mean, we gave that guy a standing out when he was sucking. So, Tom, how it, are we too hard on I our agree. players? And look, both of those guys, I think it's it's more about them than us. Like, if you just get back to work and figure it out, people will love you. Like, no one dislikes Alec Bohm, right? Like, just because no. he said that, because he bounced back, and he's you know he's a decent player now. And, and obviously, and Trey went crazy. Yeah, And he was a man. He took ownership of it. Yes. I, I mean, I, he'll be loved forever for that. So, Slay... Cry baby, you need to take a page out of Alec Bohm's book. Tom, what movie should we check out? All right, you guys both have Netflix? Yes. Okay, so you got to watch the movie called The Menu with Ray Fiennes, and it's got that red-headed actor from the chess, uh, the chess show. It is fantastic. Oh, the woman from Queen's Gambit? Yep. So the, what is it about? What's The Menu about? Uh, well, uh, oddly enough, it's about a restaurant. <laughs> I figured. And uh, what's on the menu is going to surprise you. Let's put it. That okay. I think I, I think I saw the trailer for this. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's, it's a little. It's a little. Uh, it's fantastic. It's a little dark. Okay. A little dark. I, all right, Tom. I'm in, man. We appreciate it's it. A little the, dark. The menu. We've got a couple dark ones. Yeah. The I, menu. I, I don't mind. I don't mind the dark movies. Uh, by the way, so the Bayard release clears over thirteen million dollars. That's Kelsey's space. money. 
It very well may be. You know, That's a Kelsey's good point. Bread. I mean, that so we still, we're still in a good spot. We could pay. We could pay. Uh, we could pay Hassan Reddick. I was about to say Slay, but I meant Hassan Reddick. We already paid Slay. Yeah, yeah. we already paid. Slay. Well, I mean, Hugh, to the point of Slay, if they release some of these guys, they'll take a cap hit. So you need cap yeah. room to take a cap hit. Yes, it just gives them more flexibility. And yeah, I think we all saw it last year. Bayard wasn't going to be a starter no, uh, moving I'm forward here. Be here. How many safeties do we need here? One or two? Three. <laughs> We need three new ones. Oh, you talking about new ones? Yeah, it's okay. like new. I mean, like this offseason. Because who, how many who we consider? Because who who's considered? Like we got blanket we got ship. blanket ship, and Sidney Brown so Sidney got Brown injured is, in the last is, game. He's little though, right? Well, but he's he gets also injured. Yeah. Well, he's a safety. Is he? A, it, would 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 he be? Because I kind of look at him like a slot. Would you think? Can he I play think the slot? A, I think he's a safety. Okay. I mean, maybe he so can like, play the, the slot too. Okay. Well, you're gonna need okay three because you know he's coming off an injury, so you're probably gonna need. So two you want to import three safeties? Yeah. I want to. I want some competition at that position. Yeah, I, I think you need at least two, right? Yeah, or at least two. I would say three. Because Blankenship's the only one right now that's healthy and good to go to start next. Yeah, season. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if Reed would be a starter in my defense if I could upgrade. Like uh, all of these are predicated on upgrades. That's why I say three, Joe, because I probably get two. You know, trying to see because Sydney's a little small and he's hurt. Yeah, well, that too. He's a little small. 